Hello everyone, my name is Rob, welcome to Kenta Rugby League. I'm sorry this video is a little bit late, the New South Wales squad has been announced for Game 2 of State of Origin, so let's break down the squad and have a look at a few talking points. So let's get started. So the New South Wales squad that was selected for Game 2 is as follows. James Tedesco, Brian Tato, Latrell Mitchell, Tom Trebojevic, Josh Adokar, Jerome Luai, Mitchell Moses, Junior Barlow, Damian Cook, Payne Haas, Tyson Frizzell, Hudson Young, Isaiah Yeo, Stefano Utokomanu, Cameron Murray, Liam Martin, Reese Robson, Stephen Crichton, and Kian Kolomatangi. So just like I did with the Queensland squad, I'll be giving you the points per game from the best players in the New South Wales squad. Now the way that I've done this, I've taken the tries and assists, multiplied that total by four, divided by the appearances, to give me the points per game. Basically, how many points do these players provide for their clubs? And I'll compare that and other stats to Queensland as we go. So, the seventh best for New South Wales is Brian Tuttle. He provides 2.77 points per game on average. Sixth best for New South Wales is Stephen Crichton. He provides 3.38 points per game. Fifth best, James Tedesco with 3.67. Fourth best, Josh Adokar with four points per game on average. And now for the top three. In third place, Mitchell Moses provides 5.54 points per game. Second best is Latrell Mitchell with six points a game on average. And Tom Trebojevic in the number one spot, averaging 6.18 points per game. So looking at the New South Wales spine, it will include James Tedesco, Jerome Luai, Mitchell Moses and Damian Cook. Looking at the points per game for those four players, Tedesco has 3.67, Jerome Luai 2.46, Mitchell Moses 5.54 and Damian Cook 1.87. Giving us a total of 13.54, which does like behind Queensland. Looking at line breaks and line break assists, James Tedesco has eight line breaks in 12 appearances. Jerome Luai has nine line break assists in 13. Mitchell Moses has the same with nine line break assists in 13 appearances. And Damien Cook has four line break assists in 15 appearances. Given a total kind of average of line breaks at 2.31, also lagging behind Queensland. But in terms of the kicking game, Jerome Luai averages only 49.4 metres per game. That's not his usual go-to and only has one force dropout this season. Looking at Mitchell Moses though, he is carrying this with 468.2 meters on average per game in kicking and 11 force dropouts this season. And that still puts them behind Queensland's six and seven. So the difference that's been talked about the most in this squad is the inclusion of Mitchell Moses in place of Nathan Cleary. A lot of people felt that Nico Hines was the go-to option some people talking about Cody Walker coming into the number six role. Personally, for me, I like this decision. I think Moses is a good balance between ball running, ball playing, and has a good kicking game. Matt Burton is somebody that was left out. There's been conversations about depth. He can fill um, fullback at a push if it's needed, but mostly center and the halves if there's an injury. And could possibly even play hooker if he absolutely had to, or in the lock position. So he's a very versatile player. Personally, I would like to see Matt Burton and Mitchell Moses as the main pairing for Game 3. That is just my personal opinion. I think the kicking game that they have together is dangerous. The running game that they have is dangerous. The ball playing game is equally dangerous. Overall, I think it's a very, very spicy combination. But Jerome Luai retains the number 6 shirt for New South Wales. Another player to talk about, Reese Robson. He is kind of, I guess, in place of Nico Hines. He was the, I guess, hooker slash utility off the bench last week. So, or in the last game even. But Reese Robson has been a decent player for the Cowboys. You could say he's earned his spot. But typically, Api Corusau would have made this team. Damian Cook would have been on the bench. So, I don't know. It's at least an opportunity for somebody to show what they can do on this stage. And, you know, I'm... Happy for him. I'm excited for him and hopefully puts in a good performance. I don't know how much he's going to feature in this game. Maybe it's just kind of a last resort if Damian Cook gets an injury or if they need someone to just do a bit of graft in the middle of the park. So I guess we will see how it all works out. But I'm also happy for Latrell Mitchell. Um, were some injury concerns, but he is good to go. Same with Liam Martin as well. And uh, yeah, let's see how these guys get on. 
So that is going to be it for this video. I will finish off by posing a question to New South Wales fans, as I did for Queensland fans in my other video. So my question to you is, what would be your perfect spine? Considering it's lagging behind Queensland in terms of points per game and what they provide, who would you like to see in the New South Wales spine? Personally, my go-to, based on availability, I would probably go with... Dylan Edwards, Matt Burton, Mitchell Moses, and Damian Cook. So just the two changes in the current spine for me. But who would you like to see in the New South Wales spine? Let me know in the comments down below. But that is going to be it for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.